<clears throat> uh, take control of your mind. Is it working? I don't know. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Snap out of it, you big baby! What? What's going on? Why is my outfit all wrinkled? He's back. Quick, act like a chicken. No, tell us where we can find Brady Culture's home for former child stars. We've got to stop that fiend from hypnotizing anyone else. The home? It's 227-something. Wizard would remember the street. He always does the driving. Can you take us there? Are you kidding? I've got hours, hours of ironing to do. Well, that was helpful. Take control of your mind. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Nicely done, Sam. You're a natural. Well, where am I? Who are you? Don't worry. We're freelance police. Police? Oh, no! He's getting away in that truck! Quick, follow that soda popper. Sam, he's getting away! Time out for number one! Watch out! Aside from the fact that we just plugged your truck, why would you think we'd shoot you? Except for the obvious sport value, of course. It's just, you always see cops on the news beating up some guy just because he's a former child star. We would never dream of hurting former child stars. We just need to find the home where Brady Culture keeps them. Oh, why didn't you say so? It's right over there, across the street. Jumping elephant fleas. How devilishly convenient. Thanks. Um, does anyone know where I can find a bathroom? Disturbing little monkey. Reminds me of a job I had once. You were a monkey? Essentially. I 
I guess this is where you stick your admission form. Locked. This one's very locked. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Feels good to be back in the old saddle, doesn't it? You've been watching too many John Ford movies again. Let's go beat up some thugs. Does that feel drafty in here to you? Hey, you're the one with clothes on. Do you ever wonder what life would be like if we were bugs? Sure, I hope. Although I've always wanted to have more arms. Some days I can feel the atmosphere pushing on my head like a giant thumb. Some days I hide weights in your hat to see if you'll notice. Let's get to work. I couldn't agree more. Hello, Mr. Pizza. Send over another gargantuan anchovy and hot sauce special, please. On this week's edition of Oh, Is He Still Alive? We look at the stars of the 1970s television hit, The Soda Poppers. I love shows that destroy all our cherished delusions about the stars we once loved. During the Soda Poppers' heyday, Young Spex was the role model for obsessive neat freaks all over the globe. Ticker tape free, ticker tape parades were thrown in honor of the Soda Popper who never missed a spot. Backstage, though, things were quite a bit dirtier. Spex's obsession with perfection caused massive delays in shooting and infuriated co workers. He famously demanded over 11,000 retakes of the line, You made me mess up! Made all the more annoying because of his tendency to repeat the line immediately after reading it. Following the show, Spex was rarely seen in public, although he did make one ill-fated venture into celebrity tag team mud wrestling, getting pinned in a record three seconds as he desperately tried to wipe down the ring with a dish rag. The meltdown utterly enraged his tag team partner and good friend, the dog from My Mother the Dog, who stormed out of the arena without a word. They haven't spoken since. Coming up next, the soda popper who couldn't always keep it in. Yes, I remember that case. Particularly gruesome. Yoo-hoo! Tiny hoodlums! Nobody ever leaves us messages anymore. Back to Brady Culture's home for former child stars. Oh, okay. Hmm. It says here they only treat patients with something called artificial personality disorder. Sounds tasty. What's in it? Apparently, it's common in former child stars. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with money, violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older. Forsooth! You don't even know what that means, do you? No, but it sounds all classically literate. 
Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Hmm, interesting. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with money, violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older. Hey, I know! I could psychoanalyze you! Can we do some more ink blots? Those are entertaining. Sure! Let's take another look at your unseemly obsessions. Take a look at this and tell me what you see. the results of the last time I let Max drive. All right. Now, how about this one? An SUV crashing into an opulent mansion. And this? My Uncle Louie's moth-eaten wallet. Now this one, what do you see? Elephants at the New York Stock Exchange. And this one? A debit card fed through a document shredder. Yes. Well, judging by these, you seem a little hung up on money, but I wouldn't call it an obsession. Thanks, Doc. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their obsession with money. Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ready? Yep. Scoundrel. was fun. Hey, you're fogging up my glasses. Sorry. That could be symptomatic of humor dysplasia. I'd better make a note of that. How about this word? Drill. Shoot! Violent reaction! Violent reaction! You should see him at Thanksgiving. Hmm. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Dryer. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Frozen concentrated orange juice. Really? Interesting. Well, this has been illuminating. Yes? Your responses lead me to believe that you have an unusually violent reaction to dentistry. You should see him at the podiatrist. It could be symptomatic of artificial personality disorder. I'd better mark this on your chart. Wow! It must be artificial personality disorder. You've got all the signs. I bet I can get a paper out of this. Best ship me off to some sort of home for former child stars, then. I've signed this admissions form, but you'll have to arrange your own transportation. I'm about to be really busy publishing the details of your case. Since you're crazy, can I drive? Jumping vehicular homicide, no.
Where are we going, Sam? Back to Brady Culture's home for former child stars. Oh, okay. Come on, little buddy. There's justice to be served. Can we get ice cream afterwards? Justice makes me hungry. This reminds me of that place where Aunt Trudy lives with the medicine smell and the rubber sheets and the enormous mute Indian. Sounds like a million laughs. Yeah, mostly after medication time. Where is everybody? <laughs> This is Culture's Clubhouse. Jumping Lon Chaney in a bottle frightening. Brady Culture, I presume. You know who I am? Wow! Evil plans really do work. Don't get too excited, Stretch Pants. The Freelance Police are here. Yes, actually. I've been waiting for you. Really? Next time, try leaving the front door open. Save us all some grief. Allow me to explain. <laughs> Uh-oh, I think we just triggered a soliloquy. Good thing I have the attention span of a pint of yak butter. I never wanted much. Just to be universally loved, that's all. And to be number one in the TV ratings for the 1971 fall season. But no. Those worthless hacks, the soda puppies, with their matching shirts and their cute little jingles. They came on opposite me and stole my audience. I was never offered another role. And now you two vigilantes won't even let a poor, down-on-his-luck actor mass hypnotize the entire viewing public to become his worshipful fans forever. How cruel. Is it over? I think so. So? Oops. Since you've ruined the beautiful irony of having my arch-rivals run my promotional campaign, I'm afraid you'll just have to take their places. In your dreams, culture! No, my friends. In yours. Hey, that tickles! Become... Video Delivery Man. What? What's happening? Oh no! Oh! No! What, what are you doing? I don't know. I... You were in on it all along. I told you it was a conspiracy. I told you, but then you already knew, didn't you? No, Bosco. I must deliver videos. Call the CIA! Call Interpol! Call Mickey Rooney! Must deliver Mickey Rooney videos. Hey, my beloved weapons are gone. Oh, don't even try it! I love that part. Uh-oh. Either I just walked into the Salvador Dali Memorial Wax Museum, or I'm dreaming. You love me. You adore me. Become... Video Delivery Man. Do my evil bidding and so forth. <laughs> Holy brains in a blender. I'm still hypnotized. If only I could remember what Sybil told me to do. Destroy the intruder in your dream. 
Oh, yeah. Hey, Sam, I'm up here. Oh, hi, little buddy. Brady stole my body. I hate when people do that. You gotta get me down from here. Okay, little guy, I'll save you. Brady's stolen Max's body. Oh, and it feels good, too. I just love my new furry paws and cute little tail. Hey, don't touch my tail, you psychopathic body stealer. Ooh, just let me at him. Wonder what would happen to the picture quality if I gave this a tug. No! I must be on TV for all eternity! No! Oh yes, that's much better reception. Why am I lugging around a coat hanger again? Please, Sam, put it back on the TV! I'm begging you! You have no idea what you're doing, do you? Didn't hurt. <laughs> It's Brady culture in a light socket? The light bulb represents wisdom. And here's a little now. Brady culture is a perfect 10. I think someone needs to turn the lights out on your career, Brady. What? No! Oh, that Brady culture. He turns the world off with his smile. Don't worry, little buddy. I'll get you. Sorry, Sam! I've got an itch! I can't scratch! Why am I lugging around a coat hanger again? Please, Sam! Put it back on the TV! I'm begging you! I will be you. That doesn't even work in a dream. It's just a dream, Sam. Weird. What is this thing? Sweet rodent eating disorders. That is one fat rat. Brady culture has a nice ring to it. Hey, Brady Cheese. What is it, fool? I'd like to introduce you to a little friend of mine. No, the cheese must stand alone. No! And another one bites the cheese. You want to name every single one of your children after me. Brady's stolen Max's body. <laughs> Just let me at him. Dance, puppet, dance. Didn't hurt. <laughs> Whee! Whoa, gotcha. Yay.
Oh, Mr. Culture, I have a surprise for you. Really? For me? No! <laughs> oh, my. <coughs> Thanks, Sam. A little stringy, but good. Oh, I just remembered. I'm supposed to be somewhere. Bye, Max. He's awake! We're done for! Save the girlish histrionics, Bosco. I'm all right. Hmm. I was merely the victim of your garden variety video delivery hypnosis scheme. Okay. But what about your co-conspirator? My co-conspirator? Holy underpants draped to the mast of a sinking pork rind freighter! That hirsute egomaniac kidnapped my little buddy! Any idea how I can curtail this culture crisis? Brady culture? Abo man! Stay away from him! He's got it in for me! Sorry, Bosco. No can do. I've got to save my free little pal. I don't suppose you have a Bosco Tech device that stymies hypnosis-inducing energy beams? A hypnosis blocker? I thought about making one of those, but I wouldn't even know where to begin. I've got to find something quick. Thanks, Bosco. Do me proud. <laughs>